Greetings YouTube, welcome to Retro Music Review UK, my name is Roger Swift, back with another video where I play a song from the past on a CD player whilst talking about the song beforehand and then talking all over it while I play it. So today we're going to do a song by a very obscure band that I'm sure not many people have heard of, the band are called Dub War and the song I'm going to review by them is called Enemy Maker. There's the CD single there. Now, before I start talking about the actual song and my history of it, uh, my personal history with, with this song, I want to talk about the fact that this is one of those first video, uh, first review I've done where it's, this is a unique '90s thing about this, which is this was this is like one of the things from the past from the '90s that was a thing once upon a time, and this isn't a thing anymore, and it makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside to think about this. But this is one of them CD singles where this is a common trope where they used to put, you used to do a CD1 and a CD2, but what they used to do is they used to do it where you actually open it up inside like this and they actually got the space for the two CDs. Now I haven't actually got, what they do is they put one of these bits of card in, that's the actual CD. They put a bit of card in like that to actually t to, to demonstrate what was in there. And you can see it basically says that uh, disc two of this uh, uh, disc two of this two CD set is available separately. And you'd also get some uh, the listing of what the tr what was on it. This is um, basically this is CD one. This is this would have been CD two. And the idea was to tempt you into buying both. It's to try. It's it's a, it was a gimmick to try and make you know teenagers buy more records essentially. Buy the same thing. How do you get more sales? You make them buy the same thing over and over again. And the teenage me did fall for that a couple of times with a couple of the bands, i.e. my hardcore, my, I'm a hardcore Mount Street Preachers fan and uh, everything they've ever recorded I've got CD1 and CD2 were applicable. Other bands I don't do that with, so for example this one for instance, uh, it's long gone now, There's no, I'm, there is no, I'm sure if I looked on eBay I'm sure someone would be selling CD2, I'm not going to go to the trouble for it. But that's just a unique thing that was again, uh, you know, it's not a thing anymore and they're individually, of course things, websites like Disogs.com, I am not sponsored by any of these sites, also list both of them. And another common trope now is if you go on to a website like eBay and try and buy these, sometimes it will have a picture of CD1 and that's the one you want. And then this, the seller will sell you, will send you the other one. They'll send you CD2. That's a very anal retentive um, music, extreme music nerd annoyance where they, they do things like that now. I've had it of the Music Magpie. This is not, a, I'm not, again, I'm, just, I'm actually calling them out on this. Music Magpie is a, 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 a conglomerate on eBay that just sell old CDs. They've got me over a barrel sometimes because they I have to buy stuff off them as a collector now. But they do that, you know, they'll, they'll have like, you know, a picture of the wrong CD and they'll send you CD1 and like, well, it, you know, they don't care, they're a you know, conglomerate. They're not anal retentive about the details like that. So that's just a little bit of a rant there. So anyway, we'll talk about the song itself now. This is uh, Dub War and Enemy Maker. Now, I actually have a bit of an unusual history with this song in that this got to number 41 in the UK singles chart. Therefore, when I used to listen to the top 40 singles chart on a Sunday, um, I never heard it. They never played it because it never made it in. It was 41. However, I heard a short clip of it on an episode of the chart show in the rock chart where they played like a few seconds of it one in one of the rock charts. And, um, of course, even now to this day, back then and now, those little clips always fascinated me. And it took years and years and years until I found that clip again on YouTube and watched it again a couple of years ago and heard that little clip. And, of course, something I couldn't do back in the day that I can do now is go on the internet and look up, basically, any little song like that and uh, hear the whole song if it's on YouTube most of the time. There's still been the odd one I haven't been able to, but most of them that appeared where you heard a few seconds of it, you hear the whole song. This being one of them, so I went on and actually saw that clip again and then went on and heard the whole song and ended up... I didn't actually end up buying this. What happened is, is I got it in a job lot. I've bought several eBay job lots of old CD singles where people are selling off their old CD single collection and I've bought like quite a few of them already. And some uh, twice now I've bought a job lot where it was someone who was clearly into their Indian rock and um, Space Hogs in the meantime and Semi Charm Life by Third Eye Blind were they were they both were in the same one but they were in different ones. I think this is in the same job lot that um, in in the meantime by Space Hog was in. I think, but I've kind of all got mixed in on the CDs now. That was three or four years ago when I bought those job lots. But anyway, so going on and on and on. That, so I don't really know this song at the time. I only remember that little clip of it on the chart show. It's only in recent years when I revisited those chart shows and then actually heard the song all the way through. I realised I, I liked the song. So uh, what I can tell you is that Dub War themselves were actually Welsh. Uh, and it's sort of like reggae rock. It's sort of like a cross between reggae and rock. Very unique, very different. I mean, I've not quite heard anything quite like this before. Um, so um, they did. They were that obviously successful. I think they like like most bands. You know, they have their followers of the time, but they never had any mainstream commercial success. Um, but I'm going to play the song now. This is which is called Enemy Maker. Now this is quite bassy and quite 
reggae. It's, it's rock music with a bit of reggae inspired. So let's have a listen to the actual song here. So here it comes. Now, hopefully I've got the volumes right now on my setup here. Straight away, we're going to get some bassy sounds. So here comes the song when it decides to play. This particular CD player I've got wired up here plays them automatically. Uh, it takes a few seconds and starts playing. Here we go. So straight away. I do want to talk there because that's nice. I like that. And he's sort of talking over the top. He's sort of doing a narration over the start of the song. That's I like that. That that's good. So straight away, then we've got the guitar riff. The bass hasn't really kicked in yet. Air drums. I know what's coming. I've heard. So it's, it's like a funky reggae rock we've got going here. So this is good. You know, this is very funky, very bopping along here. And then now we get the vocal. Here it comes. Reggae rock, isn't it? Yeah. It gets quite heavy in, in parts. When we get to the chorus and when we get to the um, bridge, it gets really quite heavy. You know? There's also a great Simpsons reference in it as well, in the lyrics. I think, um, lyrically, I think he's singing about... Sorry, I just wanted to do that. Yeah. One word in the chorus, he just repeats the title of the song. That's the clip I heard on the chart show. The bridge is quite good, I like it when it gets to the bridge. Um, I'm trying to work out what this song's about lyrically. I think it's, I think it's about nuclear war and just the threat of war. About, I think it's the Cold War between which is the West and the I am. At the time, I think it's just about like, you know, the rivalry between the USSR and the USA, I think is what, I mean, that's my interpretation of the lyrics here. Somebody at some point in the future, in, in 10 years time, might correct me in the comments. Interesting thing is that one of the B-sides called Peacemaker, incidentally there, by the way. I mean, there's like what appears to be diagrams of like submarines and things. Can you see that there? There's like diagrams of like submarine or something on the back there, suggesting you know warfare of some kind. So. I love that bit. <laughs> Nice lyrics. <laughs> this could be the death of Mr. Simpson or Crusty the Crown. Nice little reference there. Earache Records. So it's on an indie label. That's an interesting name for, for an earache record. <laughs> I never noticed that before. I never actually looked at what record label this was on until just now. You know, I just looked. You've heard the surprise of it, that bit in the bridge. <laughs> There's no more surprises now, it just repeats the chorus and then fades out. It doesn't fade out. It builds back again, it repeats the bridge a bit. Quick look at the artwork before, before I wrap this up. Card. And then the reverb fades out. So um, that was um, Enemy Maker by Dob War. I've been Roger Swift. This has been Retro Music Review UK. More videos are coming. Please hit subscribe for more. And that's what the CD looks like.